Hello, I am recording this after the fact to let you know that I lost audio for the next two hours of footage. So this is going to be heavily edited straight gameplay. Sorry about that, but after this video, hopefully everything will be back to normal. As I got closer to the mirror, I felt a slight tug in my pocket. I could tell there was more to that figurine than just carved wood. I can feel it calling out to me. It was the first time that it ever happened. I touched the mirror and crossed over to the other side. Uh, what? What the hell is this place? I. Oh, shit. The cat! It stayed on the other side. I'm stuck here. What's happening? No! No, please, Mommy! Oh, God. What happened to you? Wait. I know you. You were that boy. Bernard, was it? He was trapped there, just like I was. I knew his name, but somehow that wasn't enough to send him away. It was like a part of him was missing. All these people, they weren't just killed. Their spirits were ripped apart, broken beyond repair. Maybe I can find the one Bernard's missing. I need to look around. Hey, that's where those bolt cutters are. So close, and yet so in a different reality. This was yours, wasn't it, Bernard? I'm sorry you had to go through all this. It's time for you to find peace. Bernard. Thank you. Kinda looks like the one I used to get through the mirror. Feels like it too.
thing could travel between worlds. There was no escaping it. New details have emerged. The situation may be more complicated than we expected. No time to explain. You'll get the full report once I get back. Just leave it to me, comrade. Very meticulous of you, comrade. Oh no, there's more of them. faces. No way to help them. Torn apart. Just like Bernard. Getting close. That woman was here. Oh. She was a ballerina? This room has Guy written all over it. In big sloppy letters. Nice card. Was Vivienne one of your stars? Last one. I can barely feel my wrist. I don't care. I just want to go to bed. I need to be alone. Vivienne? Just Vivienne? No. Probably just a stage name. Yeah. This wasn't her room. I'm guessing her manager's? There. That's her room. Someone couldn't even let her have her privacy. This is where it happened. Ugh. Of all the places. You? What are you? No! Get out! Ah! No! Uh, no, not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. And still no name. There's got to be something. 
Okay. Let's find out who you really were, Vivian. I guess one of these names belongs to your true self. But which one is it? Oh my god, Ellie! I thought you were... No, no, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? But... Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. Ellie. She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. So, if you were talking to Ellie, that means... Tori. It's you. The real you. That's your name. It made sense, really. A name is more than what everyone calls you. It's what you feel yourself to be. Hello? Oh, hey. Are they asleep? It's fine. I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Yeah, it's tomorrow. The big day. Yep. Thanks. I'll see you home. Kiss them for me, okay? Not exactly a hotbed of passion. Yes. Yes, Mother, I know. I'm doing my best. What? No, I... Well, what about my hard work? It's not always about you. Don't call me Victoria. You know I hate that. Victoria? That was her given name. But not the real one. Not to her. Hello? Yes, this is... Vivian. Room 347? I want to make a complaint. There was a man here. Yes, from the hotel staff. Frankly, I think I smelled vodka on his breath. He... What? That was the chief of staff? Uh, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's a stressful job, I guess. now, Tori. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. One down, one to go. Better get to it. No! What are you... Stop! Ah! Ah! This is it. This is where he died. Okay, I still need his name. If only I could see the other side of this place. Huh. Some sort of a conference room. I gotta go. The voting's about to start. You know what they say, if you're early, you're on time. No, I mean right now. I can hear them gathering across the hallway. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know how it went. That voice. That's the guy. An attendance list. I'll bet the name I'm looking for is here on this page. But which one is it? I can't believe they sat me across from Boris. I don't care whose nephew he is. He's just a sexist pig for all I care. 
And late, as always. Boris. That's the guy he was talking about. Seat number nine. Okay. This is it. That's it. Nicholas. Okay, Nick. Let's get you out of here. Let me pick you up already. This place. This is where it started. I'd never felt darkness like that before. That thing had been there. It was where it made its first kill. Where it tasted death. And liked it. Hello, my love. It's your favorite nurse. Are you in there? Even a speck of you left? I hope so. Because I want you to feel everything. The nurse. It got to her first. But why? Yes, fucking finally. Time to get back to the day room. All right, here we go. God. You're all right. I was so worried. <laughs> oh, yeah. That thing almost got me. What the hell is it? Uh, it came from shame. From helplessness. From rage. Rage? It's like anger, but more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, j just like the others. I won't let it hurt you, I promise.
Richard? Is he one of your friends? Uh, no. But he was smart. Maybe he could help you. He was smart. Wait, is he? Uh, a bad thing happened to him. I remember he, he became hollow, like a puppet. He... I don't want to see him. What? Why not? What, what do you remember? No. Don't tell them. It, it's don't okay. tell anyone. You don't have to tell me. But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No. No, Marianne. The sadness. No, never again. Why did you... bring me here? It was then I realized there was something she wanted me to see with my own eyes. Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lilian. She's going to be joining our painting class. Uh, why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lilian, I, I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but... All right. I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what sadness said? Places packed with memories. Bad ones. Guilt. Humiliation. Rage. Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Ah, uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? Richard, I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. So, he brought him here. Hmm. Wonder who he meant by them. So, that's how you found him? Yes. He was just lying there. He, uh... Mr. Eckert? I, I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just... Uh, need a moment. That's not true, Thomas. You thought he... Reminds me of my childhood. At least the good parts of it. But the bad parts, they're always there, aren't they? You're a very smart girl, Lily. You know that, don't you? You're special. Her voice, is that sadness? Richard, my arms are getting tired. You've been drawing me for hours. Almost done. You know, Lily, 
You remind me of someone. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes. With a young, innocent love, free of the... ferocity of adult lives. Richard? I'm getting a weird vibe from him. There's grief, sorrow, and something else. Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here, I bought it especially for you. Oh, a ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Here, let me... Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Ah, uh, what was that? It's like something stirred inside him. No! I didn't mean to... Oh, God! What have I done? It feels... cold. What have you done? I had never felt anything so desperate. It was calling out to me. It wanted to show me something. It's all falling apart. What? Yes, I know. No, I need to be sure. There's gotta be something around here. You want what? Fuck! <sighs> Look who finally decided to let me out of my cage. And only when you need my help. Surprise. Surprise! Okay, you know what? I'm not in the mood. Just tell me what you see. Come on. Come on! Yes. I can feel it. Okay. It's around here. Somewhere. Oh, well... It's real fucking specific. Hey, I'm trying to help here. Well, you know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, Christ. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. God damn it! There's nothing here! There is. Really? I'm never wrong about these things. You know that. Well, screw this. 
I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? There. There. Where? What? What? You building tension? Grab the fucking thing! Would you shut up? He's obsessed. What is he? What have I done? We couldn't have known her. I let him into my home. He was like a father to me. Fucking bastard! Who could he? I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. What do we do now? We wait. And when he comes back? Oh, just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, tiger. Remember what's at stake here. Just let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't, I will kill him. Thomas, I wasn't expecting you. Is uh, everything all right, my friend? Did you do it, friend? Did I? What? My daughter. My 13-year-old daughter. I entrusted her to you. Thomas. Did you do it? I... I don't... I found the sketchbook. Forced myself to look through it. Cover to cover. Every single fucking page! Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I... It wasn't me. Thomas, you have to understand. There's a sting inside of me. Shut up. Oh, oh, oh. You, you have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas... I'm so sorry. She's my daughter! I, I, I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. But you did. Uh, 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 Knowing she's here. Knowing uh, what she means to me. Uh, Thomas, 
what you are. Richard forever. No! What the hell? It's yours. You'll need it. I'm leaving tomorrow. What? No! But where are you going? The army is heading out west, and I'll be going with them. But... no! I don't want you to go! to go either some but sometimes what we want isn't what's important do you understand i when will you come back take care of your mother richard you're the man of the house now Getting tired. Almost done. Come on, Slowpoke. Here, I'll try to bring more tomorrow. Thank you, Richard. I can't 
tell you how much this means to me. But what is it? It's um, something very important. Promise me you'll keep it safe. <laughs> this way, silly. Rose? Rose! <laughs> Over here! There you are! I was afraid you'd get lost in there. Me? I've been waiting here for ages. I was starting to get bored waiting for you. Hey! See that? The storm's coming. Mm. It's a big one. We should probably go. Same spot tomorrow? I'll be there. Cute, Richard. Real cute. So, where do we go from here? He? He's... he's someone who can take care of us. But I can take care of you. I promised Dad I'd protect you. I know, honey. And he would be so proud of you. But sometimes, a brave heart is just not enough. Hey, come here. I need you to do something for me. I said, come here! I need you to bring me that pen. You know which one. Yeah, real specific. Why the hell would I want that? You miss your daddy. little fuck! Get the hell away from me! Gladly. This place again, but not the same time. Richard! I should be going. I'm sorry. It's alright, Rose. We can finish some other time. 
Richard, where are you? Richard, come out! Don't worry. I'll keep you safe. I'll keep you safe. There you are. Oh, hey. I waited for you by the maze. I was afraid something happened to you. I'm fine. I feel like being alone. Sure you're all right? I said I'm fine! Hey, if something happens, you can tell me. Just let me... Get the hell away from me! Okay, Richard. I get the picture. Doesn't change a goddamn thing. Mommy? What's going on? Shh, shh, listen to me, Richard. Listen to my every word. Some men will come to our house tonight. But why? What do they want? Shh, it's okay. I told them to come. The hell is this? No! Stay away from me! Stay back! Get away from me, you bastards! No! No! Let go of me! No, please don't! Any son of Poland. Who collaborates with the oppressor? Who steals from, denounces, or otherwise acts against his compatriots? Commits an unforgivable crime against the motherland? Oh, swiftly punish! Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy.
Hi. Lily. To take a moment to catch your breath. Do I know you, mister? Are you one of my stepfather's friends? No, kid. I'm not planning on making any friends. I'm here just for you. No! What? No! Don't come any closer! Don't touch me! Sorry, kid. I know you tried to run, to hide. Get your hands off me! But as long as you're here, the beast will always find you. Richard. It was pretty overwhelming at first. Thomas being like me, but different somehow. I guess I don't have to tell you. <gasps> Thomas? Who the hell are you? suffered because of you? The one you preyed upon? She came to me because she had nowhere else to go. Where was her father? Where were you? Oh, shut up! Stop acting like you ever cared about her! She was the light of my life. The warmth of my soul. You're 
soul has rotted away. There's barely anything left. And now, it's just your sins. I almost feel sorry for you. You're nothing. It wasn't just a feeling, it was a memory. Had I been here before? Was I a part of the puzzle? This man, Thomas, was he a part of my own past? And then, something clicked. That girl, it's me. But it looks like it was taken here, at Neva. feel it out there, like it's calling out to me. There, in the woods. How is he? No, don't put him on. I'm still at work. Just tell me if he's okay. All right. Tell him I'll be back soon. Hmm. This one felt... subdued. Like if someone lit a match in a giant freezer. It sounded familiar somehow. Something from my early childhood, maybe? Was it even a place? Or something else entirely? These animals, they look 
used up. Like something sucked the life out of them. the shit out of me, little buddy. What you got there? Oh, hey! Wait! There I was, following my new best friend, hoping he wasn't as lost as I was. I remember thinking he could lead me to his owner. In a way, I guess he did. What is this? Shaving tools? Towels? Grease? Everything an elegant Sasquatch needs. What's wrong, buddy? Oh, let's see what we got here. Yummy. There you go. Eat up, champ. Anyone in there? What's wrong, boy? Is someone in there? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hello? I wish I could see you again. I miss you so much. Why did I stay? Why did I let it out? They're all dead. Because of me. What the hell? And I'm still here. I shouldn't be. Hey. You all right in there? You shouldn't be here. I can see you. And that means it can see me He looks great. Rotted out from within. Just like those animals I saw earlier. I think that's him. After they closed down the resort, did he just stay behind? What is it, boy? Was he your friend? Oh, God. 
it's that thing again. No, stay. Francis. Is it gone? 